Melton, Pauls, Palermo, Festerson, Festerson, Gray, Harding, Mr. President. Here, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for remarks by Council Member Amy Melton. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. Well, my remarks today are just going to be, it's the, probably the children's second favorite holiday, second to Christmas, Halloween is, is coming up this week. And I have to say, still one of the number one biggest complaints that I get all over my district is speeding. And the amount of injuries and even deaths that we've had in this last year um, with children and adults, but due to inattentive drivers or mistakes or speeding um, has, has just been horrible for our community. But with Halloween coming up on Thursday, and you know whether it snows, it's 10 degrees out, the kids are going to be out getting their candy. So I would just ask everybody to take a, some special effort, recognize that children are going to be out on the streets, encourage your neighbors, encourage your teenage driving children to slow it down so that we have a safe and happy Halloween this year. Thank you very much. An affidavit of publication is on file for the pre-council and city council meeting and a current copy of the Open Meeting Act is posted in a white binder on the east wall of the legislative chambers. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this meeting of the Omaha City Council. We thank you for joining us here today. As a courtesy to those in attendance and to facilitate the conduct of the City Council business, we ask that you please turn off or silence your cell phones or electronic devices at this time. We'd also remind you that when we call a public hearing and call for proponents and then opponents, that is your time to come down and speak because if we close the public hearing on an item, we will not be opening it back up today. There are also no uh, points of order taken from the public. Those are reserved to council members. Madam Clerk. Item 6 to 9 relate to the same project and can be considered together for Shadow View Village, located northwest of HWS Cleveland Boulevard and West Center Road. Planning Board and Planning Department recommend approval. Item 6, an ordinance to rezone this property from AG District to MU District. Item 7, an ordinance to approve a mixed-use district development agreement for Shadow View Village. Item 8, a resolution to approve the final plat for Shadow View Village. Item 9, a resolution to approve the Shadow View Village subdivision agreement. The public hearings on items 6 through 9 begin at this time. Are there any proponents? Yes, Mr. President, members of the Council, Larry Jovan, 11440 West Center Road, appearing on behalf of the applicant. This is a Jerry Torson development. We've been working on this for quite some time. I think, actually, we started the first go-around in 2000, so it's now 2019, and here we are at the final plat stage in rezoning. Uh, with me today is Pat Hillier of Lamp Renierson, the consulting engineers on this particular project. It's really a straightforward mixed-use development at uh, 198th and West Center Road with uh, multifamily uh, with some commercial uses underneath. There's some standalone commercial uses and some standalone uh, multifamily units as well. We're here really just to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you. Are there any other Thank proponents? You. Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Yes. Harding. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Item six through nine are approved seven to zero. Item 10, an application to consider a Class C liquor license for Penthouse Lounge, located at 4530 South 84th Street. The public hearing on Item 10 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Yes, Mr. President. For the record, I'm Michael J. Fitzpatrick on behalf of Elbug, uh, doing business as Penthouse uh, with Tim Audie. My address is 1905 Harney Street, Suite 501, Omaha, Nebraska. Happy to answer any questions. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Second. Roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Yes. Harding. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Item 10 is approved, 7 to 0. Thank you. Thanks. Item 11, an application to consider a Class C liquor license for El Polio Tote, located at 5007-5009 Grover Street. The public hearing on item 11 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Hi, my name is Sergio Escorcia. The address is 5007 uh, Grover Street, Omaha, Nebraska, and I'm proposed a full-service restaurant. 
Thank you. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Uh, is that to amend to an I? As a request. Second. Roll call on the amendment. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Yes. Harding. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Motion passed seven to zero. Second. It's okay. Roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Yes. Harding. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Your request to amend to an I has been granted. Good luck. Item 12, an application to consider a Class C liquor license for Omaha Wine Company located at 701 North 114th Street. The public hearing on item 12 begins at this time. Are there any pro opponents? Hi, I'm Gloria Heider. Uh, on behalf of JSEC LLC, GBA Omaha Wine Company, we are at 701 North 114th Street. Thank you. Are there any other pro opponents? Are there any opponents? Public hearing is closed. Council Member Harding. Gone around for a while, huh? Yes, he's going to be our consultant. Okay. All right. Well, good luck with the with the venture. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. There's a motion. A second. Okay. Roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Yes. Harding. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Item 12 is approved. Seven to zero. Good luck. Thank you very much. Item 13, an application to consider a Class C liquor license for Brazen Head Irish Pub located at 319 North 78th Street. The public hearing on item 13 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Good afternoon, Mr. President, members of the council. My name is Sean Kelly, 2804 South 87th Avenue. On behalf of the applicant, I'm happy to answer any questions you guys may have. Thank you. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Yes. Chesterson. Yes. Gray. Harding. Mr. President. Yes. Item 13 is approved, 7 to 0. <coughs> Item 14, an application to consider a Class I liquor license for Classic Rock Coffee located at 3912 North 72nd Street, A's communication from the Planning Department regarding permits for the outdoor area. The public hearing on Item 14 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? My name is Rod Hieronymus. I'm the owner of Classic Rock Coffee, 3912 North 72nd. And we do amend our application to exclude the patio off this application. Okay. Um, you're happy to answer any questions as sure. well, right? Thanks. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? Public hearing is closed. Council Member Festerson. Thanks, Mr. President. Uh, Rod, so I was at your place just over the weekend. It's oh, a really? really nice uh, venue there. And for all of those of you who may not have seen it, it's um, a classic rock theme, and it's really got a lot of neat decorations on the inside. And to date, it has been a coffee shop and breakfast and lunch, right? Right. And so this would add a liquor license for the indoor area? Indoor only for our live music. Okay. And then there will be an outdoor area just for seating or what, what would just that Just seating and uh, non-alcoholic drinks. There's no fence around it, that's why. Okay. And, but there, there's intended to be a fence though, is that part of the... No, I'm going to exclude the patio permanently from alcohol. Okay. All right. So then the that would tell me that um, the permit uh, provision on here is not needed, correct? Correct, and you'd need to amend to delete the outdoor area. Okay, great. Well, I, th I was really impressed with the area. I look forward to coming and seeing it and seeing some shows there too. And I'll go ahead and move approval um, and amend out the outdoor area. Second. Thank you. Okay. Roll call on the amendment motion. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Yeah. Harding. Yeah. Mr. President. Yes. Motion passed seven to zero. That's amended. Good. Second. Roll call. Melton, yes. Pauls, Palermo, yes. Festerson, yes. Gray, yes. Harding, yes. Mr. President. Yes. 14 as amended is approved, 7 to 0. Item 15, to consider an addition application for Rivera's Mexican Foods Class C liquor license located at 12051 Blondo Street to add an area approximately 22 feet by 50 feet with a waiver of City Council liquor rule number 7. The public hearing on item 15 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Good afternoon, I'm Tracy Rivera. Um, our address is 12051 Omaha. If you have any questions for us, let us know. Thank you. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Council Member Melton. Here. Well, first I just want to 
Faye, we're so glad to have you open again. In fact, mm -hmm. I was just in Thursday night for dinner, and you were packed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got there at 7.30 p.m., and there was a 40-minute wait, and mm -hmm. I was just, I was excited that there was that much enthusiasm to have Rivera's back, and I know that there was a delay in yeah, you getting you back open mm -hmm. and getting all the, the permits that wasn't your fault at all. So I was just glad to see that you got back open and people are swarming in to try and give you that business and hopefully you'll recoup any of those yeah, losses so that good. you had. So you. excellent food. I'd recommend uh, Rivera's if you want some traditional good old Mexican food. Um, it's absolutely fabulous. Thank you. So with that, I'll move the approval. Thank you. Roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Yes. Harding. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. 15 is approved, 7 to 0. Consent agenda. Any member of the City Council may cause any item placed on the consent agenda to be removed. Items removed from the consent agenda shall be taken up by the City Council immediately following the consent agenda and the order in which they were removed unless otherwise provided by the City Council rules of order. The public hearings on agenda items 16 through 19 were held on October 22, 2019. Roll call. Melton. Yes. Paul. Yes. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Yes. Harding. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Motion passed seven to zero. The public hearings on agenda items 20 through 29 are today. If you wish to address the city council regarding these items, please come to the microphone. Indicate the agenda item number you wish to address. Identify yourself by your name, address, and who you represent. And if you are a proponent or opponent. Public hearing is closed. Roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Festerson, yes. Gray, Harding, yes. Mr. President. Yes. 20 through 29 are approved, 7 to 0. Item 30, an ordinance to issue general obligation and refunding bonds of the City of Omaha in the aggregate principal amount of not to exceed $65 million for various purpose and refunding bonds, Series 2019. A's amendment of the whole requested by the Finance Department. Okay. Roll call. Melton. Pauls, yes. Palermo, yes. Festerson, yes. Gray, yes. Harding, yes. Mr. President. Yes. Motion passed 7 to 0. Item 31, an ordinance to amend Omaha Municipal Code, Chapter 12, Article 7, entitled Retail Sales of Tobacco Products to Remove an Exemption for Nicotine Delivery Devices from the Tax Imposed by this Article. Roll call. Council Member Harding, do you wish to speak? Melton, yes. Pauls, yes. Palermo, yes. Festerson, yes. Gray, yes. Harding, yes. Mr. President. Yes. Motion passed 7 to 0. Yes. Item 32, an ordinance approving a redevelopment agreement to implement the River Crossing Phase 1A Tax Increment Financing Redevelopment Project Plan, which authorizes the city's contribution of approximately $15,500,000 towards the construction of the garage up to $9 million of additional bond financing for various associated public infrastructure improvements and the use of up to $11 million in TIF. The public hearing on item 32 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? Public hearing. I think we're going to continue this for a week and continue the public hearing as well. Sorry, to the uh, podium. Mr. President, members of the Council, Larry Jobin, 11440 Western Road, appearing on behalf of the applicant. Um, we have decided, um, because this is really part and parcel to a final plat, a subdivision agreement, and this is the redevelopment agreement, we thought we would present the project in its entirety on the November 4th <coughs> City Council meeting. That way we hear one public hearing and we have one vote on all three items. So with that, we would appreciate the continuation of this hearing. Is there anyone else who came to speak today on this item before we close the public hearing, at least for today? The public hearing is closed. Council Member Harding. Thank you, Mr. President. I was going to make the motion to lay over the public hearing or continue the public hearing until it's actually November 5th. It's to the motion would be to lay over this item for um, until that meeting and continue the, the public hearing. Yes. It's just There's a public hearing. Third reading is next week. Okay. So just the. November 5th, just to continue the public hearing to November 5th. Okay. Roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Yes. Palermo. Yes. 
Festerson? Yes. Gray? Yes. Harding? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. Motion passed seven to zero. Item 33, an ordinance to approve an agreement with Boys Town National Hotline in the amount of $422,303 to provide a 24-hour hotline service for the Safe to Help program. Public hearing on item 33 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? My name is Denise Reeder with Omaha Police Department, 505 South 15th Street. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? Public hearing is closed. Item 34, an ordinance to approve an agreement with the City of Lincoln in the amount of $32,764 to conduct proactive home visits of probationers and parolees in the Lincoln Project Safe Neighborhoods Focus Area. The public hearing on item 34 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? <clears throat> Larry Store, 5015 Lafayette Avenue, Omaha, 68132. I'm an opponent. And the reason is uh, these may be grants, but I think the public should be able to know why Omaha is sending some of our grant money, if that's the case, to Lincoln. And uh, also in the same question would be on number 35. If these are our grants, why are we involving other communities or giving other communities part of our grants? Thank you. Are there any other opponents? Public hearing is closed. Item 35, an ordinance to approve the fiscal year 2019 Project Safe Neighborhoods Award in the amount of $117,975. During the project period from October 1, 2019 to September 30, 2022, to provide funding for the reduction of gun and gang violence in Omaha and neighboring communities. The public hearing on item 35 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? Public hearing is closed. Item 36, an ordinance to approve the fiscal year 2019 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant Program Award in the amount of $374,737 during the project period from October 1, 2018 to September 30, 2022 for various law enforcement programs. The public hearing on item 36 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Item 37, an ordinance to approve the fiscal year 2018 Assistance to Firefighters Grant Program Operations and Safety Award for a total program budget in the amount of $812,211 during the project period of September 6, 2019 to September 5, 2020 to provide funding for station exhaust system improvements and washer extractors and installation as detailed in the grant application. The public hearing on item 37 begins at this time. Welcome, Chief Olson. You're recognized. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, Council Members, Council President. Uh, Dan Olson, Omaha Fire Department, 1516 Jackson Street, here to speak as a proponent uh, to item number 37. As you know, it's an AFG grant. Uh, to the tune of $812,000 that will allow us to afford another layer of protection in terms of the health and wellness benefits of our firefighters. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Council Member Melton. Well, yes, and I, I just wanted to make a, a quick comment. You know, uh, about a year, <coughs> little over a year ago, it came up that um, that there was some a request that that funding be put in our budget to for some of these things and i just want to thank you chief olson for aggressively going after grants to help pay for this to be able to get that done and it it really helps save us from um having to put that in our budget saving the taxpayers and we get the grants to make it safer for our firefighters so thank you very much for for doing that and putting all that extra work uh time and efforts into that Item 38, an ordinance to amend ordinance number 41012 to enhance Omaha's coordinated community response to domestic violence through the multi-agency Douglas County Community Response Team as detailed in the grant application. The public hearing on item 38 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Item 39, an ordinance to amend ordinance number 41011 to allow the Omaha Police Department to complete transition from the Uniform Crime Reporting Summary Reporting System to the National Incident Based Reporting System as detailed in the grant application. The public hearing on item 39 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? 
Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Item 40, an ordinance to extend an agreement with Leeds Online to enter into a five-year agreement to utilize the Leeds system to support Omaha Police Department investigations. The public hearing on item 40 begins in this, at this time. Are there any proponents? Hi, uh, Tina Jenham, Omaha Police Department. Welcome. 505 South 15th Street. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? Public hearing is closed. Council Member Festerson. Thanks, Mr. President. So this item is the um, contract, a five-year contract that would extend our relationship with Leeds Online, which essentially is a software system that allows us to implement the property crime ordinance that we adopted at the same time. So I just wanted to um, talk about that for a minute and thank Sergeant Jenner for her work on this. She, uh, I don't think she would tell you this, but she won an award for the implementation of this ordinance from the police department several years ago. And I'm pleased to see that it continues to do uh, really well and produce great results. So I did ask for an update on that ordinance as we consider uh, this contract extension next week. And to me, it's a no-brainer. We returned over a million dollars worth of stolen property to uh, victims of crime. Uh, I know the chief believes it's helped deter burglaries and thefts throughout the city. Um, and this contract is about $56,000 per year. So to me, that's a great return on investment not only um, from an economic perspective, but of course, um, deterring crime and helping victims of crime uh, get their stolen property back. So uh, Sergeant Jim shared with me that in 2016, they held over 40, 430 items worth about $336,000. In 2017, 293 items worth $333,000. 2018, 358 items worth almost $400,000, and then year to date in 19, or through September, I should say, is 224 items worth about $137,000. And these tend to be things like electronics and jewelry and sporting goods um, that are typically involved in, in crime and theft throughout the city. So um, I think it's been a great success, and I want to thank you for your, for your work on that. Thank you. Thanks. Next. Item 41, an ordinance approving $17,500,000 in lease revenue and refunding bonds and to authorize and approve a lease purchase agreement to finance the cost of renovating, revitalizing, and constructing improvements to the riverfront revitalization area. The public hearing on item 41 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Item 42, an ordinance authorizing and providing for the issue of special tax revenue redevelopment bonds, series 2019A, and the aggregate principal amount of not to exceed 15 million relating to the Keyway project. The public hearing on item 42 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Item 43, Thompson Pump and Manufacturing Company, Inc. appeals rejection of their bid from September 25th, 2019 for the pull behind diesel trash pump bid. The public hearing on item 43 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? Public hearing is closed. Second, roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Harding. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Motion passed seven to zero. Item 44, CDPW Inc. appeals rejection of their bid from September 25th, 2019 for the pull behind diesel trash pump bid. The public hearing on item 44 begins at this time. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? The public hearing is closed. Second, roll call. Melton. Yes. Paul. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray, yes. Harding, yes. Mr. President. Yes. Motion passed seven to zero. Non-action items, items 45 through 86 do not require public hearing or city council consideration at this meeting, but will be placed on a future agenda for public hearing and or vote. The reason for non-action is noted after the item on the agenda, as well as the date the item is expected to appear on the agenda for consideration. Second, roll call. Melton. Yes. Pauls. Palermo. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gray. Harding. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Motion passed 7 to 0. Meeting is adjourned at 224.